Well, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be going over a really unique feature in Lightburn that tends to puzzle people. Once you understand it, it's not that complicated and it's real handy. I'll be showing you how I use the print and cut feature of Lightburn. Welcome back. We're going to be taking this right here and recreating it one more time. This sign is about 29 inches wide and about 10 or so inches tall. And with my SN 1812, obviously I only have 18 inches in X travel and that's not wide enough to do this 29 inch wide sign. So we're going to use print and cut. We're going to use half of it in the first cut. Then we're going to line up with print and cut. And we're going to do the second half of it. And I'm going to show you that you don't have to line it up exactly on the money when you move your, your board. I'm going to show you something unique about it. Stick around. Be right back. All right. What I've done is I've taken the whole uh, sign. Like I said, this is about 29 inches from, you know, the whole sign is about 29 inches. So... What I've done is I've, you can do this with a toolpath if you want. You can take a toolpath and create you a, a rectangle that would be the height and the width of uh, half of your, your dimension so that you know where the halfway mark would be. I know in mine it was about just to the left of the red U and just to the right of the black O. And it was just a perfect alignment right down the middle. It happened to split it just fine. Now, it could have split right down the middle of the O, right down in the middle of the U, and it would not have mattered because the print and cut feature is going to allow us to just pick right back up where we left off. So, <clears throat> what we need is we need two targets. That's what these green are right here. And we'll use them when we cut the second half. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and, and turn everything from a fill to a line just to speed up the engraving portion of it and it'll make it uh, go a little bit quicker and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn off the red and I'm going to turn off the green and all we're going to run is the black ho ho <laughs> as I call it so anyway um, that's what we're going to be running on the first engraving so we're going to go ahead this is not about how you set up your laser focus or whatever you should already know that uh, what we're going to do here, I'm going to make sure that there's no other files in my uh, laser's memory board. I clear it out every time. And then um, I'm going to, this will be, I'm just going to use uh, user, user defined origin. When we use print and cut, it's going to flip back over. So anyway, we're going to just use user defined right now. So we're going to go ahead and send that over. And then we're going to upload the file. And we'll go ahead and engrave it and I'll flip over and we'll I'll show you the engraving. So hang on. Alright, there's side one done gonna get set up we'll do side two be right back all right with my 1812 I have a little unique situation with this sign and that is I have more space on the right side under the control panel and the power supply for movement left and right than I do to the left side of my carriage I actually hit the frame of my support so I can't shove this over and get all this over there so what I have to do we're gonna hit control A select everything and then we have to invert it turn it upside down and then using cut the uh, the cut and paste we're going to be able to line it right back up and pick right back up and you're gonna see how it works so now what we're gonna do the targets that we talked about, we're going to take one target right here, just any one, it doesn't matter, either one, and we're going to grab that by the center mark, and we're going to bring it right to that corner, 
and we're going to let it snap to the center of that corner of that E. Okay? We're going to do the same thing with this one. We're going to take it over here to this corner of the H. We're going to let it snap to that corner, and it's right there. So now we have our witness marks set up where we want them to go. So this is where we go into the cut and paste. Now cut and I mean sorry, cut and print. Cut and print is in under the laser tools. It's the first tab. And we're gonna scroll over and hit start wizard. And the first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to move the actual laser head using our red dot diode we have to move it to that point on the H on the board so let me spin the camera around and I'll show you okay I'm gonna go ahead and bury that red dot diode right in the corner of that H now I know it's not gonna be hard for y'all to see it but I can see it when it drops into the part that's been engraved it kind of disappears Okay, so there we have it set. So we're gonna, pardon me, I'm gonna get you drunk. We're gonna spin around and we're gonna come back to the computer. And we're going to click that set first target. So we're gonna click that one and you'll see a little circle come in around that right there, a little red circle. And then this says, set second target. I'm not going to video that, but we're going to do the same thing that we just did on that first target to set to the second target. Hang on, be right back. Okay, we have the second target set. We're going to come down here, going to click it there. We're going to set the second target. Okay, now it's a blue circle and a red circle. So now we have to align the outputs, meaning the target settings, to the drawing so that it works. Now, because we know this is all in scale, we're going to do it without scaling. So we're going to come over on the right hand side, it's at align outputs, no scaling. Click that, and we'll come back over here to the laser tab, and it now, now it says ready, print and cut, unscaled. So we know we're set and the start from automatically changed to absolute coordinates. It has to know exactly where it's going to start from. So when I come back, we'll be getting ready to frame it and then engrave it. And like that, we're finished. Well, all right, welcome back. We're gonna wrap this up. And as you saw in the video, I pointed out where I had made a mistake in the layout uh, with the print and cut. And I'll show you exactly what it did. You can see the USE is higher than the HOHO. -Ho. There it is versus down here. And that's because I just did not catch or pay attention to what I was doing and I set that target in the wrong part of the H. That's my total fault. But the steps that I did are correct, so you can use those to work with your jobs. And the print and cut is a fantastic way to even pick up. If you're doing a project and you're cutting it out on, uh, and it didn't cut all the way through, you can use those steps right there to line back up and cut that whole project again and be right online. So don't be afraid to play around and try the print and cut feature. If you need any help, don't hesitate to give me a call, 979-848-6448. You can leave a text or a voice message. You can email me, popscustomsigns at att.net. You can send me private messages. Hey, I'm not a guru, I don't know it all, but I will share what I know. Hey, if I can help anybody, please give me a call. Until my next video, Hug all your family and friends, let them know you love them, and God bless.